So it's a newer camera tripod and it's going to make video production a lot easier. So previously, this is how I'd be doing my overhead camera shots. I'd have to lean my camera tripod up at an angle and then put a chair under the back leg to stop it tipping over. And as you can see, it's not ideal and it's not secure. You got the camera bag itself, it's double zipped. So it's got two carry handles, you've got one on the side. And then you've also got one for around the shoulder and it's got plenty of adjustment. And this model is the newer N284 Plus Go. Oh my God, this is heavy. On the bottom, you can see um, which direction to turn it to open the legs and close them. So this is the newer tripod I've got. The reason I got this is so I could do overhead product shots and this thing is really sturdy and quite heavy which is a good thing because the one I'm using to video is dead lightweight. It's a Monfrotto, the old one, and it actually fell in the canal and uh, damaged my camera. But anyway, so I've got an upgrade. What I really like about these is you've got so much adjustment. You literally just turn it left, pull the leg down, twist it right, nice easy grip as well on the leg. And then uh, you've got plenty of adjustment. I won't adjust it too much because you'll never see it on the camera. I will put the specs on the screen as well. So this as well is going to be a game changer. On my camera setup, the tripod has got like a little ball mount. Um, but when it's on the desk, it's got one of these mounts on it. So I'm forever changing the fittings. But now it's got the same mount on it. It's going to be really easy. You literally just unscrew it. Put that on the underneath of the camera. Put it in. It just makes it so much quicker um, to swap the cameras over from the desktop to the tripod, so that's good. And you've got plenty of adjustment, so you've got two um, knobs there on the side. You can put it obviously 90 degrees, wherever you want, and then just tighten it up. The good thing is it's got a spirit level on the top, um, so you can see if it's um, level or not. Obviously it's not at the minute, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it's got a knob on the back here, and this allows it to... Um, turn around 360 degrees. One that took a bit of figuring out is actually how to get the tripod um, to 90 degrees so you can do the overhead product shots. You literally undo this on the right hand side, undo this one. This one will set the degrees, the big one. And literally you pull it up so it stops and then underneath there's a button. Press that, it'll go a little bit further and that means the tripod can go wherever you want. Then this big knob on the right hand side, and this will set the degrees. So you turn that, turn that, and then you've got 90 degrees. And obviously, you can pull this in wherever you want, and then tighten it up. But this is going to be a game changer for the overhead camera shots. It's got a spirit level on the actual tripod itself. It's got a spirit level on the camera mount, so you can make sure your camera is nice and level. So the angles you can get on it are 90 degrees, 67.5. 45, 22.5, and zero. You just uh, press these clips down, and then the legs will come out. Press it again, and it'll go out even further. You can undo the big knob, which sets the degrees. Press the button. Again, we can do uh, overhead camera shots now. If something's off the table and further down. But there's just so much adjustment on this. This is absolutely brilliant. It does have a bit of weight to it, but it does come in a sturdy bag that you can just sling over your shoulder. So I'd rather have a bit more weight to my kit and then it doesn't blow over in the wind. Yeah, really happy with this. This new tripod is going to make overhead camera shots really easy. I don't have to prop up the tripod like I used to. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please consider subscribing. It's absolutely free. I think you'll enjoy the video on the left. If not, YouTube will recommend one on the right.